All right, you crazy cats. It's the the long-awaited third installment of Deals and Steals, the series I make about once every three years, it seems like. But yeah, uh, in my last video about the Schechter, I said something about a uh, set neck guitar for <laughs> under a grand, like, quality or some shit like that. Well, I found another one of these. Uh, I'm doing this, I guess, mostly to document this guitar, just because there's so little information about these guitars, but... Wow, look at that. That's pretty sweet. This is a fucking honey of a guitar. This is a Washburn um, Idol Pilsen. I don't know how you say that. Pilsen? Pilsen XL model. Uh, the serial number indicates it's a 2006. And it's just such a fucking glorious guitar. I mean, flame maple top, one-piece mahogany body. These are um, chambered, or partially chambered as far as I know. It's kind of like... Oh, what I compare it to? Like the Gibson Modern Route, where they use sort of CAD machines to I guess, strategically weight relieve the wood um it's still really fucking heavy though so i mean maybe it's not uh coil taps standard um apparently washburn is uh they don't really exist anymore i think their current n4 american models are like chopped out and they just use the washburn name but as far as i know the factory doesn't exist anymore which is a bit of a shame but they'd only order about 200 guitars at a time just because they wanted to keep their profit margin as high as possible and they didn't really want the people hanging around if they weren't doing anything or sort of building models if there weren't orders for them. So I guess to a certain extent everything was kind of made to order. Um, I mean, this is just a, a gorgeous guitar and it's pretty much new old stock. There's very little if nowhere at all. So it's got, you know, the Grovers and nice case and just... <laughs> I don't know, I really don't have much to say about it. Kind of like a slim taper... Gibson 60s neck. So, fast playing guitar. Really great quality. I think it's like a Seymour Duncan. What is it? Like a 59 and then a custom on the bridge? Not actually sure. These sort of interesting uh, triangle inlays. So, yeah, I mean, overall, it's just not much to say about it except it's just a really nice guitar. And I paid under a grand for it. And um, I'm not really sure how much these went for new. I think they went for. I don't know, I'm really just guesstimating out of my ass. Maybe two grand, three grand. So, I mean, for what I paid for this guitar, which was about 900 bucks, I mean, you, this is amazing for that price. I mean, I can't illustrate how fucking amazing of a guitar for the price, you know? And I don't want to just kind of drone on it. I don't really have much else to say about this one. I just wanted to make a video, and yeah. Actually, I have one more thing to say about this guitar. Here's like a Gibson uh, historic Les Paul type guitar. And one of the selling points from the advertisements I can tell about these uh, Idol XLs was that they're supposedly weight relieved, but because, you know, they're weight relieved, they can have a bigger body than a Les Paul. So I don't know if we can sort of compare here. Uh, it actually looks smaller than the Les Paul, maybe because it's sinking in deeper to the bed. I don't know. It looks about the same to me. I mean, we can flip them around and get them going. I mean, this is a totally fucking pointless comparison. But, as you can see, that's about the body thickness of the Les Paul. That's about the body thickness of the Idol. I really can't tell a difference, but, yeah.